back to the Queen City, the A-Sun basketball tip-off presented by Influxer, bringing in the newest team to the A-Sun, the West Georgia Wolves, bringing in first coach Joanna Reitz, second season, Micah Anderson and Zariah Davis. Very excited to have you guys on. And obviously, the key thing we're going to talk about first is it's the first year in Division One in the A-Sun, so making a pretty big jump this year. We are, and we're really excited about the opportunity. It's a great uh, opportunity for our university, our athletic department, for our team. Uh, we talk with our team a lot. We get to be the first to do things. Um, so a, a history-making season. Um, we know that it, it's a tough challenge, but you know we're a group that really loves a challenge, a resilient group, a tough group, and we're, we're excited to get going. Yeah, and I'm going to get to Zariah and Micah first just because I want to get y'all's uh, just thoughts on this jump and the challenge that is ahead. Are you excited for it? You know, what's going on? Um, I would say I'm excited for it, especially with uh, my transfers. I went JUCO, then went to West Georgia, and then we found out we was going to Division One. I. I think it's good for our team and good for the experience, and I want to play professional after college, so I think that it's just a good opportunity to see different competitions. Um, yeah, I'm excited as well. Um, kind of like Z, I went to D1, back to Juco, now back to D2, then to D1. So I'm just excited. It's new competition. It's a good year. It's my last year, so I'm just overall excited. And so the competition is going to take a step that had a good season last year, but obviously it's just a different story. It's a lot of new teams. So I'm actually going to ask you, you're preparing for a lot of new teams. It's not that same conference grind of, okay, we remember them for last year. We're going right. to have to see her again. It's all new players. It's right. all new. Yeah, fortunately, we have a great staff that, uh, you know, they're thorough. In, we're, we're thorough in our preparation. And um, so we'll do our research. But we have great respect for the coaches that are in this conference, for the players that are in this conference. Um, a lot of veteran coaches, a lot of transfer, um, high caliber transfers in this conference. So uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. And just teach us who's, who is West Georgia women's basketball? What has this program been built off of since you've been there? Obviously, it's been a shorter time, but just who are the Wolves? They're right. new to the ASA. Right. Um, yeah, so I'm in my third year. Um, we're in Carrollton, Georgia, an hour west of Atlanta, and we have a great university, 13,000 students at West Georgia, um, rising athletic department, and we are a, a program on the rise. So we recruit to um, competitiveness. We recruit great teammates, motivated students, uh, really high quality of, of human beings that are in our program. And so that gives me, as their coach, a lot of confidence that we're ready to make this jump. And you guys talked about already the journeys you've been on to get to this point, just in your basketball careers and the grind you guys have been on. So what, it's been, what has it been like at West Georgia with you guys having experience at other schools and now being a part of the Wolves at growing athletic tour? It's been a great transition, especially coming from a JUCO. Uh, West Georgia is very family oriented. Um, it was like an easy transition when I came from East Georgia State. Uh, when I came here, I was very accepted, uh, team-wise, school-wise. So being here and being in this culture is good and it's fun, and I appreciate it. Um, yeah, like Z said, the transition has been great. Um, I actually went like right out of high school to a small town, D1, but the Carrollton's a small town, but the feel is very different. It's very more community-oriented. It's like. It's nothing like I've experienced before, and I, I really love West Georgia. I like the program, but outside of basketball, I love the community and the people. And let's talk about the people on this team, this group, the chemistry. What's, what's to be expected for the 2024-2025 Wolves? What's this group like, this team? Are they you know, a tight-knit group? Is it a lot of new players? Just what's the breakdown for, from your opinion? Yeah, very tight knit group. As as their coach, you know we've got six returners and six new players, and you never know how that's going to go as a coach. But I've been really pleased how quickly our group looks like a team. Um, you wouldn't be able to tell if you came to our practice who the returning players are and who are the new players, and that's a credit to our returning players, to their character, to the way they've integrated our new players. Um, 
Next to me, Z, you know, she was one of the best three-point shooters at the Division II level, uh, all returning all-conference player for us. Uh, we also have Kanari Holiday coming back. She led Division II in field goal percentage last season. Uh, solid post player. Micah and Sydney Tolbert um, played a lot of minutes for us last year. And then with our six newcomers, um, you know, four transfers in and two freshmen, um, those guys are going to play a lot. So of our four transfers, two, two Division I post transfers, we've got a six-foot wing also you know, from the junior college ranks. Um, and then uh, Grace O'Gara transferred in from one of our uh, fellow conference schools in the Gulf South last year, um, was in the running for freshman of the year in the conference. And so they're great, again, great teammates, great competitors, and, and that makes practice really, really fun, so. And Micah, we're gonna talk bulletin board material. Cause coming into the ASUD, you're pretty much already at the bottom. That's what's expected. So how do you guys use that as motivation for this upcoming season? I think um, it allows us to really go in the conference, just play freely. Um, nobody's expecting much from us. So it's like we don't have, we're not feeling this heavy way we're expected to have to do a whole lot, which helps us play freely, but also like motivate us to show like what we can really do and um, show how we can like showcase against the other competition. I, I always like to ask those questions. We look at the coaches' pull. You know, it's something you're going to notice, you're going to see, but often you bring it up to, the, to coaches, and the first thing is we're not thinking about that. So is it the same thing for you? It's just you guys are trying to go out, and it's just all basketball, the rankings, everything outside, the first-year stuff, just focus on the sport, the game. Yeah, I, I think we talk a lot with our team about process. Um, and getting better just on a daily basis. And so we don't get lost in the, in the big stuff and in the, in the media part. You know, our focus is on having great practices, and, and we are. I, I do think we are a group that does like to embrace the role of the underdog. Um, and it, it is, Micah alluded to it, you know, it's kind of a gift for us uh, and a gift as a coach to go in um, knowing no, we're, we're doing things that no one else thinks we can do. And we, we play to that. We, we've got a group of players that um, naturally play with a bit of a chip on their shoulder. Um, but there's no sense of our group of like, okay, we're Division One now. We've arrived. We're just, we're just happy to be here. Um, you know, we're, we're here to compete. And as, if you were in our practices every day, I think you'd see that really, really day in and day out. And it sounds like this team plans to win games, plans to be competitive in the first year in the conference, I like to ask you guys, it's often a team mindset. I mean, every team likes to talk about, it's about the group and it makes complete sense. But Zara, I'll talk to you first. What's an individual goal? Whether it's as a leader or just what do you, how do you want to step up coming into the season? Coming into the season, especially being the oldest returner, um, leadership is key especially bringing in six new people with two of them being freshmen. My leadership role has to elevate outside of just on the court scoring and, and making plays, but like the off-court leadership and keeping the group together is really something that I'm ex expecting myself to bring to the table. And last thing, Micah, how do you feel about this upcoming season? And Are there anything leadership-wise or on the court that you're excited to go out and accomplish? Um, I think for this season, kind of like what Zariah said, just my leadership role, um, making sure that I can do everything in my power to help my team get as far as we possibly can this season, um, on and off the court. So, um, yeah, that's really the only, like, big goal I have this season. Yeah, well, thank you guys so much. We're really excited for you guys joining the A-Sun. Excited to have you here, and thank you so much for joining. Best of luck this season. Thank, thank you, you, Nick. No problem. We appreciate you. Everyone watching the A-Sun basketball tip-off presented by Influxer here in Charlotte, North Carolina, Queens University of Charlotte, hosting this great day. We're going to step aside really quick, get the men's team in here, and then we'll be back with A-Sun basketball tip-off.